Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to take this ordinary baseball hat, put this GoPro mount on it, put it on the visor, and make a GoPro hat. Here we go. off with getting rid of the box like so so what you're going to need to do this project is you're going to need a hat like I said any type of baseball hat this is what I am using a nice brand new M green fishing hat so what you're going to need you're going to need a GoPro mount like this and you're going to need a couple of quarter 20 bolts. These are actually stainless steel. These are quarter 20 bolts by half inch and they are flat heads and they just tap or they just screw right in like this. You're also going to need a pencil and a screwdriver. That's all you're going to need. So how, how are we going to put this on the hat? Is we're going to find a location that we like. I'm actually going to use this camera right here. And it's going to be something like this. So once you got it on there and you like the way it looks, I think that looks great. Then what you can do is you can take your pencil and you see these um, brass fittings. Those brass fittings are what these bolts thread into. I am going to take that and I am just going to take my pencil and I am going to color with the pencil all, all around that. And what I'm doing is I'm actually putting lead or whatever, a graphite actually, it's a graphite pencil. I am putting graphite on these inserts. And I'm doing that because I, I want to make a print mark, right? Or, on my hat so I know exactly where the holes are. Let's see if we can see how we, how we do it. Okay, so I have a seam running down the middle of the hat. I am gonna, I have a seam on this. I am gonna place this right in line. And then I am just gonna press, and hopefully it makes a mock. See the mock? Okay. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can, you can actually use a drill, which I don't know, it, you're putting a drill on material sometimes, you can pull the material and you can actually fray it. Um, but this, the material itself and the, 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 lid, the, the brim of the hat is pretty easy to go through. I'm just gonna take a screwdriver and I'm gonna poke a hole in it with a screwdriver, make it that much easier. And all I'm doing is I'm forcing it in and I'm spinning it. And I'm spinning it and spinning it. And eventually it's gonna pop through. It's popped through. And I did it in a way where it's not too, I didn't mangle it. You know, I didn't bust all the threads out of it. And I'm gonna do the same thing now with this one. Same exact thing. So yeah, it takes a little bit of force, but it does work. So now you're left with that, okay? Now you can take your screws and just pop them in there. If they don't fit, I gotta, no, this is a number, this was a number two screwdriver. This is a number two screwdriver too, but this one's a little bit thicker. So I can go back in and remount the hole a little bit more, enough so the bolt will go in. And I'll even thread it in like this, look, just to get it to go. And it should pop out like that. And I'm gonna put it on there and I'm gonna start threading it on. And then once it threads, it, when bites, it will, it will 
it will sink itself in. It will seat itself. And I'll show you what I mean. It's, it's already starting to come flush, see? Okay. So once you get the, once I got the screws started, now I can kind of go in and just tighten them up. And what's gonna happen, it's actually gonna countersink itself. Just like so. So now you can just take your GoPro like this. And I, I actually mounted it backwards, my GoPro. You see how it's mounted? And the reason I did that is because I want the GoPro to sit further back on the hat so it's not so top heavy. Right now it's actually, it feels pretty, pretty balanced. And if you have the, cause these cameras are kind of heavy. So if you have the camera like too far up forward, it tends to want to push this hat down. But putting the camera mid to where it hits on the brim, it makes it a lot more balanced. It's still a little bit top heavy, but it's not as bad as it would be if the camera was flipped around. So yeah, it's a pretty simple thing to do. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye.